Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something that is not yodeling related, not music related, but my other thing that I am really passionate about is collecting stuff. Lots of stuff. So I collect a lot of things like antiques, fossils, and I've just gathered a pile of things next to me that I thought would be cool to show you. All right, so to kick off this video, let's go way back. I'm talking way, way, way back with this Megalodon tooth. This is a Megalodon tooth. I actually have two <laughs> of these, but this is the biggest one. Um, I think that this is just the coolest thing in the world. And I mean, um, the Megalodon was a straight up monster. It's this gigantic, huge old shark. How can you not think that that's the coolest thing in the world? So when I saw this, I was like, this has to be in my possession. Uh, I have to own this. So now I own two of these teeth. Pretty cool if you ask me. More teeth that I have. So I have this tooth right here from the Spinosaurus dinosaur, which is my favorite dinosaur because he's really stinking cool. Um, I think that this is the one that didn't they just find out that he was also water dwelling? But anyways, Spinosaurus tooth, look at that. Look at that. Who wouldn't want that in their home? Another one of my prized teeth uh, is this, which is the Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus, Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus. I'm not looking it up right now, uh, but the big old water boy, the water boy of the dinosaur age. This is one of their teeth. Another tooth in my collection, which I think is very cool. Uh, who doesn't want the, the presence of old lizards in their home? You know, that's what I want. Okay, next thing I'm gonna show you. This doesn't have any rhyme or reason. I was thinking about like just doing Christmas things, but then I thought, why not just go around and gather items for my house that I think they would like anyways. This is one of my recent purchases. This is a Gremlins puzzle from 1984. I think Gizmo is the cutest baby in the world. He's so cute. Um, so I'm thinking about framing this. I haven't gotten a frame for it yet, so it kind of lives on uh, my Gremlins shelf that I have in my apartment. It lives along with this Gremlins book. And this book actually came with a vinyl record. So you can read along uh, with the wacky adventures of Gizmo. I think it, it basically just retells the movie. There's like a bunch of different ones, but I only have this one. Kind of in the same vein, not really, but sort of, uh, is this E.T. Comb and Keeper. I have not taken this out of the package because I like the package. The package is really cool and I can't bring myself to take it out, but I want to take it out because I kind of want to carry it around with me. Speaking of aliens, another alien item is that I have is this statue right here. This is actually not old. Um, I got this at a gas station. It's a little dusty. Uh, I got this at a gas station in uh, Flatwoods, West Virginia. And there is only one gas station in the United States where you can purchase this here ceramic statue that also functions as a candle thingy that the light shines out of. Um, and the reason why they sell these there is because back in the day, in the 50s, I believe, 50s or 60s, uh, they had an alien sighting there and this is what the alien looked like. So this was a bucket list item for me. This is one of my prized possessions. When we passed it, I thought I have to get this. I don't care if it was a million dollars. I would take out a loan for this item. Next thing I want to show you um, is my very well-loved uh, Betty Crocker's cookbook for boys and girls. Now I have multiple old cookbooks, but why I like this one and it's falling apart. Um, I actually use this, we use this quite a bit, um, which could be why it's falling apart. It was in kind of bad shape, but why I like this one particularly. I like them all, all the ones I have, but I like this one because it has commentary from children at the bottom of each recipe. And they're so, it's so 50s. Like, I love, like, he's, this is what Peter has to say about this, this thing called name cake. It's just cake with your name on it. I made one for dad's birthday. It was spice cake and caramel fudge frosting. And dad said it was keen. Next thing, one of my prized possessions. I'm gonna say that about everything. One of my prized possessions. But no, it really, really is. Um, is this Ouija board from the 1960s. Does this even fit in the frame? Um, please don't yell at me about this. I love my Ouija board. 
Don't yell at me. Um, this Ouija board is very well loved and is kind of in bad condition because I have taken it everywhere and it's definitely a talking point because everyone is terrified of it. <gasps> I forgot one thing, so I'm gonna have to go grab it. But the first thing, I have um, a lot of items from Jimmy Carter's collection uh, because we like the peanut imagery. His little peanut character is really cool. So this is actually a purse. This is a Jimmy Carter peanut purse, unzips. I don't have anything in it because I really just use it for decoration. But I also have, I'm not gonna grab it for this video, but I have a bank version of this too. It's like a big old peanut, smiling peanut uh, that you can put coins in. We got all our coins in there. So for some Christmas items to show you, I have this dog. This is a Christmas wiener dog. It says Merry Christmas and the dog has on a very cute beret. And then my favorite, I call him a stuffed animal, but he's not an animal. Plushy Santa Claus. He was at one time holding a Coke, but mine does not have a Coca-Cola. Perfect personality. I have this pot, cool, cool, cool pot holder from 1985. And as you can see, Santa is reading his list and it's actually labeled 1985 there and it says November and December. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you today, and I have so many things to show you, I really do, is this set of old containers. This is popcorn and you take the little pointy lid off and it has bowls for all of your snacking needs. Chips. Snack, see snacks, I don't know, like it's, like they're all snacks. I don't know why this one, this one specifically says snacks. It's chips, not a snack. Popcorn, not a snack. Nuts. Now have I used these? No, um, because I'm afraid I'll, that the paint is poison. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Do, does this sit around and take up room in my house? Absolutely, because it's cool and it's got a pointy top and it looks like a circus tent. All right, uh, I think that's it for my collection of items today. Oh, I just, uh, I dug this up from the ground. Subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.